So this week on week 11 of Tableau Tip Tuesday, we're going to look at padding. Padding around the sheets and containers and to make the padding borders, courtesy of Pooja Gandhi from the Data Duo. Now, what we're going to do is we're first going to look at the inner padding. I'm just going to switch on the border as it allows you to see what the actual padding is doing. Now, we can have all sides equal or we can make each of the different sides a different padding width. But just for this exercise, I'm going to keep them all locked. So if I put 20 pixels on that, you can see that everything inside of the border moves inwards 20 pixels. So once again, remove the padding, put 20 pixels in. I can go up to 30, however much padding I would like, but it allows you to see that the that the border is staying on the outside and the padding is going inside of that border. Now, if we have a look at outer padding and we add the border on, if I go to outer padding and change that to 20 pixels, the border then moves in and the pixels go on the outside of that black borderline. Once again, if I change it to zero, you can see there's no padding. And then if I up that to 20, or even 30, you can see how much padding it is given. Now, what we want to do is we want to be able to create these lines in between our big ass numbers and the borderline, which is what Andy Kriebel created last week on the one pixel line using um, a text box or a blank. But this week we're going to use containers. So First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the background of these to white. Just because that is the background of my actual worksheet. So now I'm going to add this individual box into its own container. And I'm going to click on that container and I'm going to change the colour to black. Now, as you can see, because it's already been set up, we have a two pixel border on the outside of this specific sheet. Now, if I just remove that so you can see what's happening. So I've got the sheet, which is white, and the border, which is black. So now, if I go back to the sheet and I add a two pixel right outer border, it allows you to bring that black line up. Now, if we want one at the bottom, we have to have a horizontal container. And let's just put a blank in there so we can find it. Double click the one container, add it in. Add the next container in and remove that. And then even those out a little bit. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add this into another container. So double click that one double click the next one and we get all three inside that one container. Now what we want to do is we want to add the background of that first container to be white. Now if I double click there's another container that we want to be black and if I go back to the first container we can again put a bottom two pixels in which allows us to get that two pixel border. Now the good thing about 2019.1 is you can actually label your your containers. So I can rename this. So rename dashboard item. And I can call that border one. I can then also call this one border two. So then when I'm looking at my my item hierarchy, I can see which container is causing the borders. Now, I do hope that you understand padding and use it more. I'm still trying to get used to it and avoid using those pesky blanks and start using more padding.